Hello everyone, welcome to two frame applications. I'd like to talk about the application from two point of view. One is a program with the two frame. Uh, that will be on this video, right? We're gonna do uh, on that from this. And the second one, uh, probably on the second video, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the jogging with the two frame. Right? So uh, let's talk about the program. So program can run on the same module of ro robot without position touch up. So that means reteach and provide two frame adjustment if necessary. All right, so uh, I just get it from uh, the, the menu, right? So what that uh, does this mean is that if you have to change the tool for any reason, probably damage, and then uh, in your program, if you have a two frame set it up, you can just make adjustment on the two frame itself, not on the position you touch up, you record in the program, because that, that could be a huge job, right? So that will help you to reduce the workload, All right? So uh, I, I'd like to demonstrate that with a program from uh, our uh, lab file called Inside 3. And also with this demo, I want to show you, remember I talk about different methods, right? We talk about three-point method. Then there's another method, uh, different methods, right? This one I'm going to demonstrate with what we call direct entry. All right, so let's start with the demo on the uh, Handling Pro. All right, so uh, down here, if you look at this robot, I open up a program called Inside 3. So this is where you read the current program name, all right? And within this program, we haven't talked about uh, the instruction yet, but uh, if you have a look on here, the line number two, it shows the program can use the two user two frame number one. So it has a two frame associated with this program, right? So uh, let me run this program. Uh, you will see what's going on with this program. It's called Inside 3 because it will run the program and uh, to three positions in the fixture, right? So this is the first way to test robot, you can continue, not necessarily first one, right? You can continue to test your robot program. And if you want to look at the detailed, you can run your program in the step mode. So there's a key called step. If you press this indicator, the third one on the left will turn on, it's called the step, right? So that means you're gonna run this program line by line. So every time when you press shift forward, it only moved to one line in the program. So you can see here, robot moved to approach point, which is on P2, right? Then let's look at the next position, it will be P1, all right? So if you look at here, P1, so that's the first point, right? So I can zoom in here, you can have a close look on here, right? Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, so you can see here, it's pretty close, right? Pretty close to this top surface. So there are two more, right? So this is number one, number two, number three. So this program just uh, run the position to the pre-recorded position, and this is approach, and then gonna move on to number two. Same thing, pretty close, right? And then move back to approach, and move to the third point, and finish the whole program. Right, so you can see this is what this program does. Right, it's three position within the uh, jig fixture. Right, so if I take off the step, I can run this program to the end. Right, if I run again continuously, right, so robot will not stop. It just continue finish the program. So that's the. Someday you will, you go to work and this tooling being damaged, right? So this pointer for some reason being damaged. You have to replace this tool, right? That happens in the real world, right? But what you get for the real point, the, the new pointer is not exactly the same as the old one. 
it has a little bit of problem. It is a little bit longer. So you can see here, I can just use this to simulate. So the scale on the Z direction, I can type in 1.5, right? So I'm going to change this to from one to 1.5. So that simulate, you got a new pointer, which is half longer than the old one, right? You installed on a robot and uh, you can see, you hope you can uh, fix that. And uh, you, it turns out you need to do a test run, right? Let's run the program, crash, crash crash, right? You understand, right? Because your tooling is half longer than the old one. It's gonna go into that point too deep, right? So if we go into the step mode, you can have a close look down here. So approach, then you can see here. All right, so you can see this pointer is almost going to that part too deep because it's too long, right? You can see here. Uh, same thing on the second one, on the third one, right? So it turns out only change the tooling, it doesn't solve the problem, right? So how do you do it? You can retouch up the position, right? In this program, you probably only use five or six points, not big deal. But if you have 100 points, it could happen, right? Is recorded in this program, you're gonna spend the whole shift Whole, uh, whole day to do the retouch up. And then what happens if next one gonna crash? And then you, you're in big trouble, right? Luckily over here, like, like I just showed you before, with this program, we associate with a two frame, right? We have a two frame in place. We can make a change on the two frame. Instead of changing those positions in the program, we change the two frame. So robot will know the offset is being changed from here. It probably before is like this long, but you need it made longer, one and a half longer than that, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the setup menu, setup. That's exactly where we set up the two frame, right? So you can see here, uh, we have two frame number one, the old one, it's 178 on Z, All right? So uh, this time, because we know we can take a measure, right? Me measure it. So we can change the number with the different method. Before we use three point. Now we can change to the direct entry. Choose that, but basically they gave you the same interface, right? So you can make this cursor to change to different uh, values on here. So that's, let me bring up the calculator. So it was 178. And I type in 1.5, right, times 1.5, a little bit longer, which is 267. So that means this 178 is no good. So we need type in 267, because that's the new offset. Right. Notice this is two, this is a pointer. It is pretty straight and symmetric. Right. So in this particular situation, we don't have to go through three point. Right. So we can directly use the direct entry method to change this. So once we change to 273, we click edit. We're going back to the same program. Now let me run this program again to see if we solve that problem. No crash. I don't see crash, right? So now, if you want to have a close look and uh, look at the step mode, shift forward, then there's something wrong on my uh, emulator. Okay, let me see here. All right, so. Uh, I think my uh, handling pro uh, uh, crashed, okay. But uh, luckily uh, you saw that running before, right? So uh, you you understand the, the reason behind that, right? Because I, I know the new lens of the tooling, 
I can use the direct entry to change my uh, two frame, right? Make the necessary adjustment, right? Once I adjust the two frame, I don't need retouch up the position in the program, right? So I will talk about the other application in different video in the next video.